dealing with a sore hamstring. Wasn't sure whether he'd go, but is playing. Quick move from Clark. Nice little teardrop from the freshman. Second. Just a quick little shake and move and a little bit of a floater to get it over the defense. Rebound for Braxton Key in a crowd. You watched the rebounding by Braxton Key from a year ago. How about DeAndre Hunter? Clark can bring to the table. He's got that ability to make other players around him better. Certainly is here in Charlottesville after that early exit from the tournament. Here's Ty Jerome. Man, he just tees it up and cold-blooded. Key at the top of the arc. Guy uncorks the three and splashes it through. Clark lobs for Hawk to the forehand push. About 10 points, four rebounds, four assists, and four steals. Actually, 12 points. Here's Clark. Got it. Sort of keep that fight alive for the rest of the game, but this is, you can grow a lot from playing a, a team like Virginia. And nice feed from Kihei Clark to DeAndre Hunter with a finish. A little bit on this lead, Virginia continuing to do what they do best. A little assist there from Kihei Clark. I'm told to back up by Coach Juan Dixon. Now Guy, back to Huff, into the corner. Quick ball movement, Kihei Clark lines one up, and he's got it. Kihei Clark with his first career three-pointer. Waiting for for a long time. Yeah, really good ball movement. They pass up the first or second look. Good job by Clark. Tell you, he's, the posture he's got over there, he looked like he's down 80 to 31 at some point. The Akite from the same spot as last time. Deja vu for Mamadi Diakite. More second half action after this on ACC Network Extra. Looking to set things up now on the offensive end. Kihei Clark gets around his man. He'll get a chance for a three-point play. Such a quick first step. Isaiah Burke just turned a little too much. Look to set another one this time. Cameron was ready for it as he tried to stay with Guy. With the shot clock winding down, great vision from Kihei Clark as he feeds Braxton Key. How about the energy a rebound by Salt can provide to this building? Clark hesitation. Lane to the rim. A one-point game. Jerome driving baseline. They work it back to him in the corner for three. And it's all net. Jerome ripping the rope. Clark in the corner. Shot clock at five. Back to Diakite. Two buckets in a row for number 25 in white. Career total to 280. Second most in school history at Marshall. With the clock winding down, it's the Akite, and the move from Clark got it rolling. One from the top 25 rebounding, but every team defensive stack, and then here's up again. Almost every team defensive stack, they're first or second in the league. Ball fake and a beauty by Ty. Gives it up. There's the three from the youngster. Plenty of time here. Ty Jerome up against it. Kihei says, say hey, I've got another. But damn it, this is just the way it's gone for Virginia. If I'm Virginia Tech, Jerome is the guy I defend, and if I'm going to leave somebody open, it's Kihei Clark, but he makes them pay for it. What an outstanding first half. The week. This is obviously a great test for both of these programs. Great patience inside by the seven-footer, Jay Huff. There are mistakes. Now, here's the danger zone a little bit. Two-three zone. You're going to get some open looks. They're great deep shooters. Clark, a three on cue. Seven points, nine rebounds, six assists for Ty Jerome out of New Rochelle, New York. Look at this kid. That's Clark something. Clark turns the corner for two. It has a defensive reputation that... Sometimes it causes you to hurry a shot. Sometimes it causes a little discomfort because you're wondering who's coming. It's Braxton Key. It's a good feed from Clark. Shooting just 25% so far. Clark with a runner. Well, that's a, that is a tough, tough job. Well, that's the bad news. The good news is they're still within five points because Virginia's had a hard time scoring. Not that time, though. To defend.
Only two guys on that side of the court, and everybody looking at the basketball. To the team, three of 18. Johnson, Hunter, doubled back and blocked it off the backboard. Clark, Key, drops it over the front rim. Up tonight at 6 o'clock in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Clark, Schultz, rocking the rim. To the corner, Key, hey, Clark, the freshman. And now he takes it away for UVA. You can't be careless with the ball with Kihei Clark around, an excellent defender. Alert to pick up Kobe White, and then Kobe White doesn't come to the ball. He's not used to getting guarded like that in the backcourt. Carolina used to getting it in after a score. And really good offense, 11 of 20 from the field, 55%. Good hesitation. Oh, beautiful pass. He got in among the trees. Guy called for the foul, his first. Clark with a little hesitation and got Kenny Williams to come in and then back out. And then just a spectacular pass underneath the... I would say the most likely to wind up winning the SEC regular season because of the way the schedule falls with that 11-1 record. Guy got a nice bounce. Virginia here, they need to get a couple of baskets and uh, stop this rally. Looking high, Huff with authority. That's one way to stop a rally. Cutting that halftime lead in half. They're 23 and 0 when leading at the half, and 0 and 2 when trailing. But DeAndre Hunter has gotten the Wahoos right back into this one quickly. And back within two, and Hunter's got 16. See, look at that. he was wide open, and uh... Virginia could tie or take the lead. Jay Huff. Tie ball game now for Sling TV slinging it. And <laughs> Mr. Huff has been slinging it. Virginia calmly gets it across with plenty of time to spare. Up high, Clark for Diakite. Braxton Key is an interesting case study in what attracts players to Virginia basketball because as he's gone through the course of his career, there's a nice slam from Hunter. Hunting for a number one seed because of DeAndre Hunter. Mike, how about that short quarter once? But you would think pace of play slow. They're bored to watch. This is literally what coaches put on for clinics for coaches across America to watch. The way he defends as well. You just look at their last few games, the guys he's guarded, whether it's been Nikhil Alexander-Walker or Luke May. Clark with a beautiful feed for Hunter. Time out and getting a basket uh, was a, a great sign. And, but they're, Virginia's post speeds have been way too easy in this game early on. Well, Hunter, nice bounce pass through traffic, guy to catch and shoot three. Players are here in mass. The current ones are pretty good. Kyle God, big bucket. He's got five in the second half. In the ACC. I'm really looking forward to seeing my good friend Dick Rose when we visit Pittsburgh next week. Because we're 8 out of 15 from 3 in this game. And they have a miss in the second half. It's told this afternoon that former Louisville coach here did. Akite down the lane! All the stuff that he does. The Akite double. Out to Clark. Clark hit a 3 early this time. They drive and he spins it in. He can crack the paint. Three seasons, tremendously successful there. Won three straight CAA regular season titles with the two-time coach of the year. He got a wide open one last time. He'll get one right here if he wanted. And finally a bucket. The ball movement leads to another three for Kyle Guy. This is what happened. All right, help King. Help coming is bad when you're playing Virginia, Sean. You cannot, you've got to stay with your own. And once you leave, they start whipping it around. And the best shooter, maybe in the country, got a great look, and he's going to make it. Make that shot, obviously. That was 11, 12 points a game. I think you'd rather see Florida State attack the rim. How about Key Hay Clark with a change of speed? Really pressure to speed the game. It's more to slow the advance. 
And Diakite, who struggled in limited minutes in the first half, has his first points of the night. Put a little bit when he caught it. Watch his feet here. It's a beautiful pass. Yeah, he, he traveled. A better matchup, you would think, for Florida State, given the size that Coper has. Aaron's man on Kyle Guy not helping at all. Well, Diakite just kind of screened off a couple of defenders, and it got Clark free for a jumper.